What's going on, you guys? Mr. Allen here with quite the math problem. Here. We got graphs, we got celebrity appearances here with Drake, and we got A through F. Oh my goodness. All right, let's get to it because we, we don't have a lot of time. Actually, we got all the time in the world. Drake is taking a road trip with his buddies. They left his house and drove for a while, got some T-Belt, of course, always on a road trip, right? And then drove till they got to their destination. All right, we got a lot of questions about this graph here. Let's first take a look at the graph and see what's going on. We got our time in hours for our x-axis. We have our distance in 100 miles, so 100, 200, 300. A lot of times you'll see them scale differently, but they might just use an integer there. Population models, they'll do like millions of people or thousands of people or 100,000s, 10,000s, whatever. So this one here is distance in 100 miles. So 100, 200, 300, so on. Time is just those numbers. All right, domain and range. So it looks like here we start, we go all the way uh, for our domain here, which is time, that'd be our X variable, right? Normally, in this case, T probably. Um, from zero hours to eight hours is where it looks like it stops. So it's an eight hour road trip. So we'll say, you can write this in a couple different ways. Um, we could go with like from zero to eight, right? Something like that, okay? Um, and then our range, a little hard to tell here, but let me let me pop my straight edge up. Whoop. Looks like it's in about six, right? So they're about 600 miles. So from zero, to 600 miles. Nice, beautiful, fantastic. Okay, so we've got our domain and range. Now I did use brackets here because we are including those points. Notice the closed circles, right? Lovely, excellent, fantastic. Okay, continuous or discrete? Well, what the heck's that mean? Well, discrete, you would just see only specific points, kind of like a scatter plot almost like you'd see, whereas continuous, you're gonna see these lines going through here, right? So this one's gonna be continuous, continuous. Beautiful. When is the graph increasing, decreasing, or constant? All right. Lovely. I'm liking this. Okay. So let's see here. From zero to it looks like about four hours, we are increasing. So let's see. Where do we want to write this? I'm going to write it right over here for part C. So we're increasing. So this is going to be part C here. Increasing. We're going to go from zero hours to four hours. And then we're also increasing again, it looks like at six to eight, right? And then again, from six to eight. Now your teacher might use slightly different notation. They may just ask you to label it on the graph. These parentheses, they mean we're not including the point because you can't really be increasing at a specific point over, only over a span of, point, of points. More on that later, they might be like, what, bro? We're increasing from here to here and we're increasing from here to here. Okay, that's the big thing there. So they may just even ask you to circle those things on the graph. This is a little more fancy fancy. Um, so you may or may not be here yet. Next thing, decreasing. It is never decreasing. Yay. How about constant? It is constant uh, from four to six hours, right? So from four to six. Lovely. Beautiful. Fantastic. Wonderful. I guess we could use brackets on that one there too. But again, I think we might want to just do like this. Let's see. Increasing. Wee. Constant, increasing. Or they may just even ask you, what's the graph doing? Circle all that apply, right? Then we can just say it's increasing and it's constant at times. All right, part D here. Where is the minimum and what does it mean? Well, the lowest point on my graph here is at the origin, zero, zero. Okay, so the minimum would be zero or at the point zero, zero. Uh, what does it mean? That's when they're still at the house, right? At slash maybe leaving the house or haven't left the house yet or just about to step out the door, something like that. And then where is the max and what does it mean? Well, this right here would be my max. And what does that mean? They got to their destination, didn't they? Okay, so max would be um, right here. That's at six hours, or sorry, 600 miles. 600 miles, and that would be at destination. Cool. So usually for our, like, our max and min values, we're talking about the Y value for that, okay? Um, if it asks for a maximum, like the point that that occurs, then you'd use an ordered pair. But because we're saying like, what is it? We're using the Y value there. And last thing here, when was the T-bell stop? The T-bell stop was from hours four to six. All right. So when we're saying when was it, we could say our time uh, four to six hours, or you can even say at mile, it looks like maybe like 
350, right? 350 miles. They're like, bro, I need some grub. Now they stopped for two hours. I'm not sure why, whatever. You know, maybe somebody had some trouble. Uh, <laughs> all right. So there we go, man. That's cool. We handled that thing. We handled it like a boss. Drake had a nice little road trip with his buddies. They probably hung out for a while, came back home, maybe in similar fashion. They might've gotten T-Bell again on the way home. I don't know. That's, I guess, a further problem. So other than that, guys, have a great day. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button or whatever YouTube people say because I want to be YouTube people. That's cool. See you later.